Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a tour around this house I made off camera. And I'm also going to be showing you, I might get down to making stuff, another like a little shop or something like that around the places, around the place. And yeah, so let's start off with the outside. So this is what it looks like from the outside. I did this by myself off camera. It took me around an hour to do this. And in on the outside, we have these bushes and there's also this little farm and underneath this brown carpet is water to make these crops go all brown. So I covered that up with carpet just to make it look better. This is the blacksmith, though there's only one furnace. It's just to look good. This is the back garden, back door. Yeah, let's not go inside yet. This is the back door. I might change it into a garden. The reason why I use these glass blocks is because if I use glass panes, it won't connect up to the door. And I don't really like that, so I went with that. Let's keep that down there. And here are the sheep pen. I just needed somewhere to store all these sheep. And another blacksmith, at least now we have two furnaces. I put this iron gate to stop anything from just walking in. Though things can just jump over, but who cares. These are the horses, they have some hay. And yeah, the, re the way that I got off when they were on the saddle is I shifted and you come off without having to take off the saddle. Uh, this is what it looks like from the around it, from the back. And those two pillars are like the watch out towers. They have some um, chests in them, some arm stands and stuff like that. But if you do make this into survi in survival in your own world, I would suggest um, that this isn't really a starter base because if you look, these um, anvils seem pretty much a lot of iron. So, yeah, it might not be your start base, but it could be your base in survival. It's pretty easy to make. And inside of here, I didn't really know what to put in here since how big an open space this was, so I just added in a carpet. I used some trapdoors for extra detail. And upstairs, there's some lights here. And here is a little glass thing. This go, this takes you down into my bedroom, which I'm going to get rid of that because I'm not gonna have that in. And since this was a pretty while, pretty long time ago, so I just put that. Since I changed my mind, changed my mind about it. And this is the balcony. This is where we started off recording. Yeah. It, I, people did it so that there weren't any fences, but I think it just looks a ton better with the fences. So you know that it's meant to go up there. So let's take a closer look at these watch out towers. Here are some stuff in case of invasion. And here's watch out towers. So loads of chests. There's this little place you can sneak up on everyone. No one can hit you when you're behind this pillar and yeah it's pretty good to fire arrows at people because you've got the high ground and if you do come up here you'll need a block to get up here since I did add some height to this I also added in these pillars with some iron um yeah some iron bars keep that cue that off it will despawn eventually some iron bars and some fences to make it look like it got smaller the pillar and i think that was a really good add to the build over here is another watch up tower i did them exactly the same so we don't have to go into the other one and you can see this the horses you can go outside you can see the sheep which I don't really like about it, but it'll have to do. Well, actually, this might actually look better. I'm just testing out something. If you do this, do this in your real world, be sure to be as quick as you can when you break it, because otherwise they might escape into your base, and that wouldn't be too helpful. 
so oops, actually see um, I'm just building and deciding if I like it or not just throwing out some ideas I think that actually looks a ton better oh yeah so I'm just gonna change just gonna change this since I just found out the perfect idea for this since before it was just glass panes which wasn't really too detailed but now if we add in this 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 it should look a ton better yeah that already looks better okay so the best thing about this house is probably when it turns to sunset how it kind of lights up kind of pinkish and where's that so the sun's over there which is really that perfect but we're in between that so yeah that's enough of night time let's change it back to day and i think the next thing i'm going to do before i start on that is probably a basement but what will i put in the basement first i need a light trip because that just makes things a ton better like when i went up here if i had a light trip, i could just jump off what can i put in the basement um yeah what can i put in the basement let's keep oh yeah i can't do that now i can um let's get some of these blocks to start off with this so the basement should it be creepy or should it be your average basement um I think it should be where my enchantment table should be because enchantment tables are pretty rare and where do you put all your special stuff? Yeah, probably not in the basement actually. But yeah, let's just put it in the basement and see how this looks. If I don't like it, I'll immediately change it and it should um, be okay then. Okay, so I need to add in it so that you can actually get up. Yeah, this block. This is blocking you, and this is hurting your head. Okay, that looks like a pretty average place to put it, if I may say so myself. Since they do look, um, yeah, they do look pretty fine. Because if, why would you take out the carpet only to go down to the basement? So that is a pretty good excuse though. I need to start working on this because this is where the lighting is going to be so if we can we might actually make a bit of a town out of this I might be overacting on what's actually going to happen but we'll try our best to make as much stuff as we can in this world since I didn't want I don't want to restart this house again because I do think that it took me longer than I really expected so I don't want to do it again. Oh. Uh, no. oh no, perfect time to rain. Just when something bad just happened. Let's change it to clear and then let's get this changed. Maybe I should do, yeah, I think I'll do this basement somewhere else because I don't really think that it matches in too well with it there so I'm just gonna put back this carpet okay, that looks pretty good okay so should we it's like a mine but I don't want it to be like a mine because that kind of ruins the effect um This is really, really not really helping. Okay, so let's just get rid of all this stuff. Uh, yeah, let's just get rid of all this stuff. So maybe let's just start something outside this build. Since later on we're going to go into more details since I made that quite a while ago. So yeah, yeah we're going to go into some more details now. Over, yep. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken myself, someone must have planted a tree and then tried to break it. Okay, so someone did join the server. I don't know who. They've built quite a 
good box now before we actually go into checking underneath this yeah it's just that um let's break this and then we can redo it a bit if they do say something about it then i'll just have them i don't know who this is someone must have just joined the game um yeah let's just get rid of this since this is where i was thinking to build some of the houses now this is going to be a bit like a village so my house needs to blend in with all of the other houses so if i'm gonna do that i can't add in a modern house otherwise just doesn't really look any good if you incorporate a in, um, house like that and then you just add in a box made out of quartz and a few stairs and a few glass blocks it's not going to look any good yeah I I don't really like it when people say can I build a modern house right next to yours when you just built that because it doesn't really blend doesn't really match in with your theme so we're going to block up this to make it look like nothing is here so that we can start again with our shop so let's just block this up yeah i did believe that someone did join it but i don't know if do. so let's just pretend that that's where we're gonna make our shop though i think we should make um i'm actually if this goes horribly 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 wrong or we've run out of time in this episode to do it i might have to google up on some images of it to do it but i think i've got a good idea i do not know i think this person needs to be selling where how am i meant to put in a greenhouse in this Yeah, we might have to Google up some more images about that because I didn't know how to incorporate a greenhouse because most greenhouses in these days are modern, so I'm not sure how to do that. Now, let's just get some stairs and some slabs. Um, This person could be selling... Where is it? Uh, do we really have to search it up? Melon. And what else would you be selling? It should be in the line. Yeah, that's too colourful. No, that's way too colourful. No, no, no. Let's put in some of these. Oh, barrels, 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 barrel. Because those. What, that, right, 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 right. Um. Oh, let's actually buy some. Buy. Let's actually just take some of these um hay bales. And where are we gonna build this? Where, where, where? I don't want to build it like right here. That would be no, 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 no. We are not building anything around these borders because it does not look good if you build something around there. Too close to each other's builds can sometimes look good, but if you add in a shop next to someone's build right next to it, it does not look good. Anyway, let's just make up enough talking let's find out where we're gonna actually build this thing um um i'm thinking we could build it there's not enough trees around here so i might have to add in some trees let's build it here if this does not look any good we're gonna restart it so normally they already have colorful blocks so let's get some of this and then let's also get some of this so you yeah, yeah i know it's a bit odd what i'm doing right now but later on if this does end up pretty well it'll be a good block theme to, that i've chosen i might actually if you go into hive in the windows 10 i think it is then you find loads of new cool games i've played quite a few of them for a long long time now and they normally have really good maps like at the waiting point so if you do get on first out of everyone else you do have a uh, quite a long time to actually focus on how you're gonna build something like that 
So that's the best thing about Hive and Hub. Well, the Hive has a Hub. And um, not many people know this, but um, I do, so I might as well tell you all. When you go into a game, if you're playing with your friends and you want to be on the same server, which I know is quite likely for me, um, on the same team I mean, and you're not on the same team, then the best thing to do is either um, definitely don't save and quit because that's just going to be a big, big waste of your time. Instead of just press in the chat, type down slash hub and it will teleport you to hub. But it's not doing that because I'm not in the hive and stuff, so that's pretty... Oh, no, not that one. That's not pretty random. That's just because I'm not in Hive. I'm in a normal world. And what's going on with this? Ugh. An error came to the day. Um, so I don't know if I should do this overhanging. So what I was going for is, um, like, lots of shops have red and white, like, um, checkered and... I thought the best way to do that with stairs is with this. So, if this does look pretty good. What's up with the weather? Let's change this weather Ch right now. Okay, there we go. Should change back. So, it already looks... I don't know about you, but I think it looks better than what I was thinking of. So, that's pretty good. Those stairs are painful to do. Like when I did the stairs in this house, that's what took me most of the time. Like that's what took me half an hour just to do that teeny bit of detail. And also to lay it out. It took me a very, very long time. Just to do that just to do that teeny little detail though I think looks really good and I'm kinda of missing out on that. If you do do any of these stairs trick how it's kind of like looped up then I would suggest not having it straight up see what I've done I've placed down a block here and then another block and then another block and then I did it and then the, to top it all off I did one more block and then I did this bit like a pattern I think it looks amazing this bit looks really good to the house like it adds on that teeny bit of detail though it does a lot to your house so if you are ever do that I would suggest doing that for sure and the uh, stairs are so annoying okay there we go will I line this up perfectly yes perfect um yeah I think that'll be enough for the stairs there so instead I'm gonna change Oops. so I'm gonna normally yeah now it works um I'm going to change all of this so that I am doing it like this. So there goes that, that. So I want it to be kind of checkered. So if I go do it checkered, I'm going to do it like this. And see, it lines up with the sides perfectly. It's really good when you get the last block. Perfect. Okay, that's great. I think I should make more of these shops around here. Um, so I think that looks pretty good. It looks a bit like the balloon things. I think I might have to change this to, um, maybe if I try this to make it look like the stable. Don't know if this is gonna look, no, 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 no. Looks like it's floating. And I don't really wanna go for that. So I'm just gonna break this. Okay, I might as well just do this. There we go. Stopped it from looking worse. Okay, so I'm going to have to do a bit of command here. To, the way to get these barriers is basically like a thing that's invisible. Um, if you don't hold on to the barriers, not that. You do slash give special as barrier. You and then you get one barrier. But if you're in creative, it means infinity barriers. And what this thing does is... Like this it's invisible can't walk for it you can trap people with it they don't pull off too many pranks with it because too many isn't really that funny 
So um, I'm going to get a villager and then I'm going to trap this villager inside of here so that it looks like he's selling stuff. Though I do want some stuff down there, so please don't be a baby villager. Okay. Um, we have to break this. Oh no. Okay, finally. Some, ooh, it's a blacksmith. Let's break this. Fill this all in. And then let's. There we go. Voila. Now we need to remember not to go anywhere close to that. Because we're going to start putting these melons. Don't know why anyone would actually want to buy any melons, but they're all for sale over here. So. And some hay bales for the um, horses, so I might actually buy some of these. Even though you probably won't sell it, it's just for a bit of decoration. Um, he's trapped. Um, you gotta stay here, okay? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's just do this. There we go. I want it to be kind of diagonal because we haven't got a diagonal one yet. There we go. That looks perfect. So now let's get on with this actual shop. So he's going to be stocking up with some melons and stuff like that. So we, this is why we took this barrel so that we can put in some barrels over here. If you will let me get down here. No, you won't. No. Uh -huh. So you can't really access it, which makes it a perfect shopping thing to do. Because it means no one can steal this little, precious little melons. And, uh -huh. um, I can't get this. There we go. Perfect. That actually looks half decent, I think. Don't worry. Soon I'll make some better things, but I think that actually uh -huh. looks pretty good. So now let's fill this up with with some melons so let's put in half a chest full of melons and um a full chest will um be 27 melons so if you really have that much then yes i would suggest filling up the whole entire chest and there we go now i'm going to keep these because i want it to be perfect now let's fill in this with some wheat hay bales and over here. Let's get up to five. Like he's buying some stuff. Well he's not buying anything. The people that come to it are buying stuff. And he gets all the money from it. Okay, that looks perfect. Okay, shouldn't he have Yes. No. I am actually, to be honest, going to put it to always day and weather. Where is it? Off. Now let's change the weather back to clear and then it should stay like clear forever until I turn it back off. Okay, so he wants some emeralds so he's going to put up this. What do you even sell anyway? <laughs> you sell shovels for an emerald. Emeralds are really rare but later on 36. You can't craft bells that's why. I don't think that you can craft them anyway. Now, what do you have to say? It's so cool how that comes up of him. That actually looks pretty good. Now, if you're thinking that really took you that long just to build that, it's because I didn't actually have a full image of what to build. Though, now since I do have this, I might actually make a woodcutter. So I am actually going to do like a horse riding place maybe because those normally appear something like with those shops. Can we fly through? No, it's like what are you doing here? Okay, so now let's just get on with this. Um, so we want a woodcutter, don't we? So which wood did we mainly use in this? We mainly used oak wood. So let's get some oak wood with us. And this is making it look like it's told a story. So it makes it look like I needed this oak wood to build this house. And what people mainly do to this, and also I need some um, buttons. Don't worry, this isn't anything to do with any redstone whatsoever. 
if you're thinking I don't really know that much about redstone so um, this isn't about redstone and let's block up this they normally do something like they stack them on top of each other like three rows and then they use this wait let's just pull it back pull it forwards a bit just by two and they use this this rail to make it look like this is holding on to um, the wood and if I do say so myself this actually does look pretty good and I never really use this in any of my builds except for now and they also use some buttons to make it look like yeah like I don't really know what it looks like but it looks cool so he has some wood with him. The only bad thing about this is if your friend comes around and then they think that you built a bit of a roller coaster, they the first thing that they're gonna do is 100% do this. It is pretty annoying. Now let's get this. Ugh. Let's just clear our inventory. Oh, oh. Okay, spelling went wrong just then. Um, so let's build a few of these because I think they look pretty good. So where should we put this? I don't really know if I'm supposed to build another one of those because there is already one. So if I do build another one, I don't know if it'll... Oh, yeah, it clears out your light. Seriously. And then I don't really know if it'll look any good if I build another one. No, let's just stick to one. So let's clear our inventory right there. Um, I think the next thing that we're going to do is actually make... Um, what should I make? I don't really want to go on to making another place. Because this is going to be a village. I don't want to make another place for sure. Because that took me an hour. Imagine building loads of them. That's going to take me so, so long. I do not want to build another one of those. And anyway, if I do end up building another one, it won't be looking anything like this. So, I'm not going to build one like this. I might actually build one of these. But, um, maybe cut off the back part of it and these pillars. Since this is my base, so I want the biggest base. Since this is my world. Who forgot to sh oh no, someone didn't. Let's find some pressure plates here since it is pretty annoying. So let's go with oak pressure plates here. Here it fits in perfectly. Let's put in some here. In case you're in a rush. Like if someone comes to your base on a horse, you're gonna have to be in a rush because if I know for sure that horses are pretty quick, so you're gonna have to be in quite a rush. So luckily these staircases help you out a big turn. So I don't really want to add in any at the front door. Well, there are some pressure plates at the front door, but I don't want to add in any here because otherwise it'll glitch. And I also mean if a creeper comes. Upstairs. Where's that person again? Lower up. Yeah, I don't want any creepers coming, so I'm going to break that push plate, and because it is pretty annoying having to, so you're just going to walk, open it, let the push plate shut itself. I don't know if I'm going to add in a swimming pool. If I do, I have to think what I'm going to build out the swimming pool. I'm not going to build a lava place. Fish. Wait. Oh no, that's not possible. Wait, I just gotta try out something. Let's grab some barriers, and then let's also grab a bucket full of card, and then let's also grab a piston, and a, I don't know what I'm doing. I just thought of this really good idea. So I'm just gonna fill a bit like this. Um, to, and then the card will go here so it's like a block in the air and then I'm gonna do 
this perfect and then it's gonna have this i don't know if it's gonna hurt the card Bye -bye. That did not work out. I thought that I could maybe um, trap it into a box, like um, a fish tank. If I thought of that, that would be the best thing ever. That it's not like that. Actually, I'm going to start in the next episode. I might actually build a um, place for the honey and stuff. But, um,. This is the end of the episode. If you liked it, then thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.